Hey guys, it's Lisa. I am starting on a new coat. I've already got the resin on it just to save time. In the video, I am just going to do like a glitter cup. So, with some rainbow colors. And, uh, It's just going to be just like sporadic. There's no, there's no nothing because it's going to be covered up. Um, this one I am going to just be putting, I'll explain while I do this. Uh, Um, so it's going to end up being a, um, I'm going to try the dish soap trick. So I want to have a good, a good glitter base on it. have a thicker a thicker base of um, epoxy because I'm using chunky glitter so if it's a little bit thicker it tends to be able to um, lay down helps it lay down a little bit better and my swirls aren't going to be perfect but like I said, it's not going to matter. So I've seen a few people do the dish soap trick where you have a base and then you put dish soap all over it and then rinse it off real quick. Um, I may have, I'm not sure exactly who I saw first. I may have seen uh, purple stitch Jess over a purple stitch do it on a tumbler um, but then I saw um, ooh, this is the yellow and the green are gonna be kind of mixed guys because my cup was blue so my yellow glitter just looks green. It's fine. It's fine. So anyway, I saw Tish over at Naptime Creations also do it, but on a coaster. So go check out the Purple Stitch and... Uh, Nap time creations. This is the very first time I'm doing it, so Lord knows how it's going to turn out. But I just wanted to show you guys the base. 
I don't really have room for the purple. I'm going to have to fit it somewhere. Some will stick, some won't, but it's okay. Like I said, it's a, it's just a base. And all these pretty glitters are going to go in my dump jar. See what a pretty mix that'll make all together. Oops. Actually, I'm going to try something. <coughs> no, I'm not. That's going to be a complete fail. Trying to get my bottom here. I'll cover it more off camera, but I just wanted to bring in for this part just to show you how I did the swirl and then um, I'll bring you back when we do the fun sudsy soap stuff I'm gonna cover this in the coat of epoxy and then I'll bring you back see you soon okay so I got the coat of epoxy over the glitter so after this cures, we can move on to the next step and try to see what we're going to do with the dish soap. But I just wanted to show you guys the steps I'm going to. This should be dry to touch in a couple hours, but I'm probably going to leave it a little bit longer beans. I'm going to have to run it underwater and stuff. So that's it so far and i'll see you in a bit okay guys i'm outside i'm getting ready to do the dawn just soap method to this beautiful tumbler i hope i don't screw it up because i really like i really like this so i'm gonna give the camera to my hubby and he's going to film it so hold tight Okay, so I got my Dawn dish soap in a little jug so that I could have better lines. And I'm going to go up and down, I believe. So we're going to just drizzle up and down. Up and down. Is my arm in the way? Not anymore. Up and down. Get the bottom. Okay. Oop, there's a little bubble there. I don't think we want bubbles. Nobody said anything about bubbles. Alright. Now I'm going to spray paint with black. A good coverage. I think you're supposed to be using flat black, but I didn't have any, and they said that um, gloss would work. So we're about to find out. All right. And this is over an epoxy tumbler, so I don't know if that works either. So here we go. 
Oh, how flipping cool is that? Well, that's amazing. All right, I'll bring you back when it's dry, guys. Okay, guys. This is it. I got it on my turner. Um, it's got, I just put a layer of epoxy on it. I let the cup dry real good. And then I put a layer of epoxy on it. I did mix a little tiny bit of, um, hang on. Hang on. Okay. In the coat of epoxy, if you can see, <clears throat> I didn't want the black just to be like solid flat black. So as you can see, I put sparkles in the black also. Actually, it's all in the entire cup, but I added this from La Res, the Glitz and Glam Sun Catcher. And it puts off like a gold tinge. I use this an awful lot in a lot of things I do. Um, you can get that at LaRezExpressions.com if you are um, in Australia. Or, if you're in the U.S., you can get it from Laura's Art Corner. She sells Laura's products. So, that is the sparkle that you see in the black. You don't really see it in the, the glittery part because it's already glittery. But, you okay, guys, this turned out so cool. I love how it turned out. So, you really need to give it a try. Um, there are a lot of tutorials out there. Uh, this is just one of them. I did it on a glitter already epoxied cup. A lot of people are just doing it right right on a, um, you know, you spray paint your tumbler. And then right over the spray paint, they're doing it. And then doing the epoxy. So, but I wanted a glittered background so it kind of looked kind of peekaboo-ish. So, and the bottom came out cool. I love this. This was a lot of fun. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of it, if you've tried it. Uh, if you're going to try it and uh, yeah a lot of fun and um, I'll see you guys on the next video if you are looking for a Facebook group to join uh, for acrylic pouring resin as you can see I do tumblers also um, resin art mixed media all those things we have a great group that i run with uh tammy anderson art it is called united we pour fluid art group we just changed the name um it was united we pour with tammy and lisa but we changed it to united we pour fluid art group just so that people knew that it was for fluid arts so, um, yeah, I will, uh, see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.